Hello, peace weapon here. Today I bring you this challenge lock. This one was made by Mock. Uh, Moon uh, put the shim here so that I would use it. But I have to show the rest of the inscription. Which is called Apre Ski from Mog. He's a Canadian picker. So obviously, he used the American lock and changed it to Canadian lock. <laughs> so it's very cool. And made his mountains. And this should be probably the skis. Like this, probably. Yeah. So oh, very cool, very nice drawing, and I'm going to try to pick it. So here we go. Now this is uh, this uh, challenge lock is based on an American lock, and uh, so I will have to be very careful to. Keep testing if the, the lock is open because it tends to do that to be open and we don't notice because it don't push hard enough on the tension wrench. It's a deep false set, I believe. Yeah, and it's open. So here you go. We had this open. Let's go check on the key. Yeah, very nice fitting. Yeah, it works perfectly. So now we'll get it and see what kind of pins did Mog make the the pins in, on an american lock are smaller than standard pins so i'm sure he had some trouble making modifications and i will use my own shim 
just to <coughs> not ruin his, his shim. So where's the key here? Oh, it's uh, the, the key is also engraved with the name of the lock. His name. So very cool. So all these key pins are standard, some are really really small. And now let's look at the plug. So he makes some milling here. It's threaded. There's a little irregularity here. I think that this is from one of the top pins. We'll see. Maybe there was one time when uh, someone forced here. It still catches very well, even so. And um, let's see. Very nice pins. I see them, uh, sorry, just a little bit closer. So, this is pin one. Very nice. Like a um, sort of a double spool. Very thin lips. This is more like a triple spool. Really cool. Now, this one is fun because it is based on a concept I already made a CL on. But he added this um, tiny T-pin part at the end, which is really nice and works very well. I have to push it twice. Now this is another of those double spools. This one looks a bit deeper. And another one of those sort of um, deep ins. Really cool. And finally, another double spool with a little, um, just a little bit different shape. Sort of, not exactly a double spool, but it will do the same kind of thing. Yeah, really cool. And this was especially uh, interesting because some of these uh, spools, especially this one and this one, the second and the fourth, would keep making number five drop. So I had picked two or three times before this lock and this one was the first time where I could keep this one 
um, up, but frequently this one would drop and uh, completely. So this time the only part that dropped was the tiny D pin part. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was very well made. It was not a terribly difficult lock, but very fun. And I really enjoyed picking it. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Yeah. So thank you, Mog. Very fun lock. And thank you all for watching.